I wanted to dislike Cataclysm, but I kind of like it. Now, I've never played Cataclysm before. In fact, Cataclysm Classic is the first time that I am personally experiencing this version of the game. So I'm coming at this with new eyes. However, with that being said, I got to admit, I did have a preconceived notion that Cataclysm Classic would basically just be like Retail WoW. And, you know, me being a classic candy, I'm not a huge fan of Retail WoW as it is. However, with that being said, I feel that I and quite a few people had the wrong idea about Cataclysm. There are quite a few things to like about this expansion, and I'm kind of digging it. So I think as classic players, we like to lump first three versions of the game, Vanilla, TBC, and Wrath, as the classic era. And then after that, when we get into Cataclysm, we dismiss that as not classic. However, I think that is a bit incorrect, and I would say even I perpetuated this idea. I even made a video talking about how if they release Cataclysm Classic, it wouldn't really be a classic version of the game. However, I think looking back on that, it's a bit unfair. The reason being is that there isn't really a meaningful difference in the gameplay loops and core gameplay mechanics compared to Wrath of the Lich King. I'm sure people in the comments are going to say, oh, Cataclysm is so different from Wrath of the Lich King because of X, Y, and Z. I get it. But from what I see of Cataclysm Classic is that it's essentially a continuation of Wrath of the Lich King. The overall idea of how the game works is very much the same as it was in Wrath. If you're a fan of Wrath of the Lich King, you're going to like Cataclysm, in my opinion. A lot of like the core gameplay and how things work really does feel a lot like Wrath of the Lich King. Even as far as like the meta progression, like you have like the badges you get from running dungeons that you can spend them on gear that is above the content that you're running. There's a lot of like details about Cataclysm and Wrath of the Lich King that are very comparable. And I think because of the nature of this expansion, how like the old world gets revamped with this Cataclysm, <laughs> that we kind of get the wrong idea about it just because of the nature of Azeroth literally getting transformed, that we kind of dismiss everything after that as retail well when I don't think that's really the case, at least not anymore. I would put Cataclysm and Wrath of the Lich King on par with each other, at least just from what I've seen with this first tier of raiding and dungeons and whatnot. Now that may change, but like just from what I see, it just feels like Wrath of the Lich King 2.0. What is definitely the case is that the overall visual design and aesthetic of the new zones are just way more impressive. So the leveling zones feel pretty damn good. Like I gotta say that some of the quests were quite interesting. I can think of quite a few quests where I was actually quite digging it. There was a lot of flavor and interesting stuff happening. Blizzard really did up their game in terms of leveling content. But the real meat and potatoes of the game is how it plays in dungeons and raids. For me, I decided to play a shaman. Something that I really got into the swing of quite quickly was the idea of switching in and out of being a healer and a DPS shaman. Now this may not seem like a big deal to many people but with the idea of dual specialization and a lot of the stats on gear crossing over with different specs kind of makes it very easy to play two different roles on one character and I kind of dig it. Like in the case of my shaman a lot of the stats that I would benefit from as an elemental shaman are the same as I was playing a restoration shaman. As I'm gearing up my shaman, I'm kind of hitting two birds with one stone and it feels really satisfying. And there is like some great utility I found in being like this dual spec player where if my raiding group wants an extra healer, I can be that role. If they want an extra DPS, I can be that role and I can swap in and out of them very easily. And yeah, the quality of life for being a dual spec in Cataclysm is really good. Like, I, I like it. As I said, I don't think this is like news to many people, but from someone that played a lot of vanilla and TBC, this is a novel concept to me and I'm really enjoying it. But if I'm being honest, I'm enjoying being a healer. And I never thought I would say that, but like being a healer, feels really fun. It's like you're playing like this rhythm game, at least for a restoration shaman, it's like you're playing this like 
beat mania rhythm game where like you're you're hitting all these b- buttons or like healing people in different ways and it just feels really good i enjoy the gameplay more so than the dps elemental shaman that i'm playing so that's kind of surprising to me i i never thought i would be playing a healer but hey here we are the raid content i find quite entertaining Now, not all of the bosses in the raid content is interesting, but the fact that there's three raids that you can do in Cataclysm in this first tier is very cool. Blackwing Descent, Bastion of Twilight, and Throne of the Four Winds. Now, the amount of bosses in these three raids pales in comparison to the mega raid that was Molten Core or Blackwing Lair, but the fact that they're small basically means that you can do them in like a bite-sized chunk. You can very easily get into a pickup group and do one of these raids in not too much time at all. It doesn't require so much of a time commitment than if you were to like do a pickup group for Blackwing Lair for example. And something very interesting to note is that they made the loot from 25 man and 10 man the same. Just they reduced the amount of drops in 10 man compared to 25 man. So there isn't like a literal disadvantage to doing a 10 man raid. I remember having this thought in Wrath of the Lich King back in the day. What is the point of doing any 10 man when I can get better item level gear from the 25 man? You legitimately can choose if you want to do a raid 25 man or 10 man. Now I've dipped my toe into heroic raiding and I'll keep it 100. I got my ass kicked. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Like, I, I like the fact that there's something ahead of me. You know, I'm not just farming the content. Like, there, there's reason to gear up in raiding. There's reason to, you know, continue playing and work on my gear and work on my skill as a player. I think I'm kind of like the litmus test for, like, the average player. Things from my perspective is that this is a good amount of difficulty it it feels good it feels good even in like the normal raiding like there has been quite a few wipes and that's good like i I want there to be some struggle i don't want it to be a snooze fest with that being said i of course have some criticisms that you know there's some aspects of vanilla and tbc era of well that i think is better i don't like the rewards you get from heroic dungeons in the random dungeon finder i'm not a fan of it i don't think you should get tokens that can buy raid level gear from doing heroics like i I, i've never got that i've never been a fan of it but you know it's a long lost battle like it it, like this battle was lost in wrath of the lich king so like what does my complaint matter it is what it is but it's just kind of weird how i had like this misconception about cataclysm for all this time and now i've finally gotten a chance to play it as it was it's enjoyable like it's fun it isn't like retail well it's kind of like the happy medium in between vanilla TBC and retail it's that Wrath of the Lich King era content and I'd say look if you are someone that is a classic candy just give Cataclysm a try it's within your WoW subscription anyway I think that you would get into it especially if you enjoyed Wrath of the Lich King like you'll enjoy this too I know it seems from the outside that Cataclysm looks like this retail version of the game because of you know Azeroth changing but it's really not like that Even if you're a classic candy, there's some quality here. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and sub for more.